Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what is cybersecurity and we're gonna put it in simple terms. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And I just wanted to say for everyone that celebrates 4th of July, which in the States we do, happy 4th of July, have a beautiful day, safe, don't blow off your hands and let's get into the video. All right, folks, so welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what is cybersecurity, and I wanna to try to break it down in simple terms, right? So if you guys are new to the channel, like I always say, just please like, subscribe, share. We're at 95,000 subscribers. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but 5,000 away. I really wanna to get to that point before DEF CON, which is in about a month. Today is July 4th, so happy 4th of July, everyone. So the main topic, what we're gonna be talking about today is the definition of cybersecurity. What is cybersecurity, right? So a simple thought process of cybersecurity, cybersecurity is pretty much a practice, right? Of like protecting your computers, your assets, your networks, your data, all from the bad guys, the adversaries, the hackers that wanna steal, damage, or misuse your data, or misuse your information, right? So, and what I wanna do is use a little analogy, right? So. In the case of you have a home, hopefully you have a home. So think of cybersecurity as a security system for your house, for your home, for your apartment, whatever you live in. But instead of protecting your home, it's protecting digital assets, digital information out there on the internet. So it's super, super critical to understand what cybersecurity is. And this video is not just for the hackers and, and people that are interested in cybersecurity. This is just to understand what this topic is all about because it's really, really hot on the press, right? We always say, oh, cybersecurity, cybersecurity, but what actually is cybersecurity, right? So the next thing I wanna talk about is why is cybersecurity important, right? We all know cybersecurity is every day we use it, right? On our phone, our camera, maybe our CCTVs, our camera systems, everything we have digital assets in our lives, which we can't get away from, right? So we use the internet pretty much for everything shopping, going online to buy on your Amazon stuff, your banking, socialization, right? We're, you know, socializing, we're talking here on YouTube, we have Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, so pretty much just like a locked door in your house, we need to protect that, right? We need to protect those people from the you know, robbers, the thieves to get them from to get into your house, pretty much the same thing on the internet, right? We want to protect ourselves from online activity, hopefully, we don't get breached, we don't get you know identity theft and all that stuff. We can only protect what we have by being smart and diligent about the you know resources that we share online. So always be safe, safety first. And what I wanna do is explain some of the risks behind this, right? So say if an adversary, a hacker, bad guy, black hat, skits to a whole of your information, steals your information, your personal in information, like for example, social security numbers, credit cards, um, PII information, maybe, you know, the list goes on, right? What can they do with that? They can misuse it and use it for bad purposes. Maybe sell it on a dark web, maybe sell it to their neighbor, whoever, right? Just to get a quick buck. So just be, just be uh, you know, cautious of what you're doing on the internet and anything cyber related, because it's really important. So the next thing I wanna talk about here is some of the basic concepts of cybersecurity, right? So what is a threat? Threats, right? These are the bad things that can happen, like viruses, malware, ransomware, uh, things that, you know, hackers can break into, you know? So all of that stuff is pretty much a threat, right? The next thing is here that you'll probably hear in the press and in the community and your career is vulnerabilities, right? So these are the weak spots of your system that the bad guy can leverage, right? We can exploit that. We can get into your system with that vulnerability. And that's not just a technical vulnerability. The human element can be a vulnerable aspect of, as well, right? We can do social engineering, we can exploit the user, and we can use reverse psychology and get into your system, get information, extract information from the, the human element. So just be, just be uh, really, really careful. And it's just like leaving your window open in your house pretty much, right? Or in your door, on, on your car. I don't know why I get this itch in my nose. It's like tickling my nose and it's uh, annoying.
But then the next thing is defenses, right? These are the measures that we take to protect ourselves, protect our organizations, protect our companies, anything. Like you have to roll up your windows in your car, you have to lock your doors to, you know, you know, they can just break the window, right? But that's that's a whole nother, uh, whole nother story. You know, use strong passwords, use MFA, multi-factor authentication. That's super important, right? Update all your software, make sure everything is patched, make sure everything is up to date, make sure everything is secure. And, you know, have like an EDR system if you're a company, maybe have like Windows Defender and endpoint protection on your host, just in case, you know, something bad happens. Maybe there's host based firewalls, there's EDRs, there's so many things. And if you want to take it a step further, you can actually have a firewall in your house. If you're a company, you should have a firewall, but I'm talking about you for your normal consumer, right? Like I have a firewall, maybe I'm not your normal consumer, but a lot of people, you know, should have firewalls in their house, not just connect to the you know World Wide Web, the internet, just from a like a modem. But a lot of routers today have built-in firewalls, so hopefully that should be good enough. <clears throat> so the next thing is everyday cybersecurity tips, right? So <laughs> this is the stuff I tell my uncle, I tell my dad, I tell my family, friends, everyone that I know, use strong passwords, right? And you'll be surprised how easy it is to find a password in a word list or a data breach or something like that. And you can spray that and I'm sure it will stick somewhere, right? So use strong passwords, use complex and unique passwords for different accounts. This is super important, right? Don't use, you know, what are we in July? So summer 2024, bang for everything, right? And you'll be surprised people use like seasons plus a year plus whatever for their uh, for their passwords, usually in a corporate environment, just because it's simple to remember, right? And just don't use names, don't use like stuff that's relatable to you. What I would recommend is use a password manager, right? Like LastPass, KeyPass, you know, 1Password, you know, there's so many password managers out there and generate, you know, generate a, a crazy password that you probably don't even remember, you know? That's what I do. I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes I don't even remember my password. I just have to, if I lose my master password, I get that compromised, then I'm really screwed. But that's a story for another day. The next tip here is software updates, right? Make sure you keep all your phone device. If you have an iOS device, make sure you always have a patch. If you have a computer, you know, do your Windows updates. Make sure you're always up to date. Make sure you do your, your security updates as well. And just, you know, just because if they're doing an update, they're rolling out an update to protect you from a vulnerability that was exploited in the wild. So hopefully that makes sense. And the next tip of the day is be cautious online. Don't just click on suspicious links. Don't just download attachments from unknown sources. If you get an email, you don't expect that email, delete it. Whack it out of your mailbox, you know, don't click on anything. And if something looks fishy, it's probably fishy. So. Before we get into the next topic, I want to get a drink of water because my throat is killing me. All right. So the next thing here is careers in cyber, right? I have a career in cyber. We all want to have careers in cyber if you're interested in cyber. Man, I said cyber a lot of times. So we're going to talk about, you know, you, you have so many paths. We have pen testing, reverse engineering, malware, incident response, SOC analyst, you know, you can get into GRC, compliance, security engineering, a cybersecurity engineer. There's so many paths down there, down the road of cyber. It's it's infinite. You know, like we have so many uh, career paths. So pick one that, you know, shines your star or whatever, tickles your pickle, whatever you want to say. And just say, hey, like this is really, really interesting. I want to go down that path. And just go down the path and uh, if there's if it's not your interest, there's always room to pivot, move into something else and uh, continue your journey. So that's that. And um, yeah, pretty much that's all I wanted to cover today. Obviously, to recap the main points, you know, cybersecurity is pretty much a digital security asset system protecting you from the data, from, um, from your data, from the bad guys, right? So, you know, obviously protect your information at all times, stay safe, don't click on any craziness. And um, yeah, the last thing I wanna invite all of you guys 
let's help me get to that or help us right because infosec pat is a community it's not just me i'm just the the face that puts out the videos and please subscribe to the channel it really really helps like the the, the video and just comment below you know and if you have any tips or tricks that you use to get into cyber or that you want to share for other folks please leave it in the comments i would really appreciate that again happy fourth of july if you see this you know after this hopefully you had a good fourth of july and until next time have a beautiful day